Hey, welcome to a new video. With a staggering 4 billion hectares of forested areas on Earth, it's no surprise that many mysteries lie within them. Legends and myths, for example, speak of terrifying creatures lurking in the shadows. If you're ever planning to visit a forest, always keep your eyes open. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. If you're afraid of creepy crawlers, you definitely don't want to encounter the giant centipede. The Amazon is home to many large and powerful animals, including the largest centipede in the world. These anthropods are big enough to devour mice and lizards. The giant centipede has a long, flat body with about 26 body parts and 22 pairs of legs. The creepiest part is that their first pair of legs carry venom that they can shoot at prey. Hidden in the heart of Japan lies the Yawara no Yabashirazu forest, a place so eerie that even the bravest souls will think twice before venturing inside. The dense forest sits at the foot of a mountain and is shrouded in mystery, with stories of creepy occurrences and paranormal activity passed down through the ages. Many local residents refuse to enter the forest after sunset, and some even believe that the trees themselves are cursed. It's said that while standing under the branches of the ancient trees, you will hear the whispers of the dead and feel a chill run down your spine. Others claim to have seen apparitions or ghosts and even heard footsteps. Despite the many horror stories associated with the forest, it remains a popular destination for those who love the paranormal. If you're brave enough to enter the forest, make sure you stay alert and bring a reliable flashlight. If you're wary of crawling critters, you better reconsider hiking through the forest of Papua New Guinea. It's said to be home to a Congolese giant spider that has a wingspan of 5 to 6 feet, or 1.5 to 1.8 meters long. In other words, it's as big as a person. Sightings of this giant spider, also called the Jabba Fofi, date back to the year 1938. In that year, a group of people claimed to have seen a giant spider crawling across the road. Since then, there have been other encounters, including one where someone claimed the spider had bitten him. However, these daily activities of the giant spiders are still a mystery, but it's suspected that it lives in the shallow tunnels camouflaged by leaves. Their home base is a large dense tree where it creates a giant web, in which it catches their victims. The Amazon region is over 4.1 million square miles, or 6.7 square kilometers in size, and there's still much that remains unexplored. Recently, archaeologists found ruins of monumental settlements in the Bolivian jungle. It was not as easy to discover everything, so researchers had to use helicopters with remote laser scanners, and they scanned six different areas where an ancient culture lived between 500 and 1400 AD. The last thing you definitely don't want to see in the forest is a long-haired, dark-haired girl on the side of the road, resembling something out of the movie The Ring. People in the comments quickly compared her appearance to that of La Llorona. In case you're not familiar with her, La Llorona is a mythical figure popular in Spanish folklore. According to the legend, she's a woman who drowned her own children and now roams the earth, crying and searching for them in the afterlife. Her name means the weeping woman, and the story of La Llorona has been passed down through generations in Spanish communities throughout America. Many people believe that in the video footage, we see La Llorona standing looking towards the forest. Some variations of the story suggest that she drowned her children as an act of revenge against her unfaithful husband, while others say she accidentally drowned them while trying to save them from another danger. In 1987, an unusual photograph came into the hands of a well-known ufologist from Guatemala. The photo showed a huge stone head apparently hidden in the jungle of Guatemala. The unusual thing about this stone statue is its white appearance. In fact, the appearance was unusual for civilizations that lived here. It's very strange because it would mean that locals were seeking contact with outsiders, which was historically not possible. It may look like an edited photo, but Antti Lantinen's art shows us a secret portal reportedly found in the southern Estonia. It's hard to say exactly where this portal might lead you, but it looks like it's a way into a completely different world. Where do you think you'll end up if you decide to go through this portal? As the car drove through the dense forest, the drivers suddenly saw a dark figure standing behind a tree. At first, they thought it was just an illusion, but that was not the case. When they looked closer, they saw shadows behind the trees, including one that looked very much like a shadow figure or ghost. However, the driver was wise and left without being curious about who or what these shadows were. 
Legends and myths about shadows in the forest have existed for centuries. Many stories warn of strange creatures wandering the forest, waiting for unsuspecting victims to cross their path. Some say these shadows are spirits of those who lost their lives in the forest, while others believe that the shadows are the guardians of the forest, protecting it from outsiders who wish to do harm. It's well known that the forest is a place full of secrets and hidden surprises. The mere thought that they may be lurking in the shadows can send shivers down anyone's spine. Do you think the shadows that the driver saw were simply shadows of the tree itself, or was there something supernatural going on in that forest? The discovery of megalithic structures in the western Amazon region in 2016 led archaeologists to believe that they have found the Brazilian Stonehenge. The discovery was made through satellite images that showed several groups of megaliths arranged in a circular formation. Researchers who discovered the site decided to call it the Amazon Stonehenge. The discovery of megaliths is significant because many people believe that the Amazon region, despite hosting millions of people, was largely ignored in prehistory. Yet, the discovery suggests that the Amazon region was likely a center of complex societies that could create such massive structures. The megaliths appear to have been made about 2,000 years ago and cover about 1,000 hectares of land, indicating the existence of a large settlement. The site also has the geometric designs within the stones that resemble constellations, indicating a possible use for spiritual ceremonies. The lost city of the monkey god was first described by Douglas Preston, a scientist who was part of an expedition to Honduras. They found a lost city deep in the rainforest with many ancient relics of an unknown civilization. In the book, the author wrote about the beautiful ancient city, but he also wrote about a flesh-eating disease found there that was said to be the reason for the collapse of the entire civilization. This is a famous photograph taken in Papua New Guinea in 1961 of four men pushing a giant skull on a cart. Could this be proof of giants once existing? Who knows? But this would not have been the only time a mysterious skull was found. An even older specimen was discovered in 1929. Once thought to be the skull of an extinct human species, turned out to have a darker past. Papua New Guinea turned out to be the home to the world's oldest recorded human tsunami victim. The partial skull was found near the town of Atape. It is Homo sapiens, our species, and not Homo erectus, which went extinct 140,000 years ago. The tsunami that occurred 6,000 years ago seemed to wipe out villages and wipe out everyone in the area. An even more chilling fact is that only the skull was discovered. This is thought to have happened because the bodies were washed into lagoons where crocodiles ate them. A vlogger was making videos about life in a forest when suddenly, while repairing his camper, he was watched by a ghost. This allegedly happened somewhere in an unknown mountain range in France. It's often said that spirits roam in the forest. Atmospheric conditions such as mist, fog, or lack of light create a creepy environment. In this next instant, the man had a strange encounter with a young female ghost in the forest. His dog seemed aware of something unusual as he behaved strangely. Suddenly, he heard moaning and saw the girl walking around dressed in a monk-like clothing. The man asked if she was okay, but she didn't respond and just walked away. It's often said that dogs can perceive something supernatural because of their senses that humans cannot see. The phenomenon of animals being aware of strange events or presences is well documented, but the reasons behind it remain a mystery. A pink dolphin? I can see you thinking. But yes, the Amazon really has everything, and pink dolphins are 100% real. According to researchers, they are 9 feet or 2.7 meters in length and have unusual long beaks, oddly shaped foreheads, and pink skin color. But their existence is shrouded in mythology. According to Amazonian belief, pink river dolphins called called botos can take the shape of a human to seduce a woman. The myth also tells that if you make eye contact with this animal, you will become cursed and have nightmares for the rest of your life. The circular spot called the Devil's Tramping Ground has been the subject of countless legends and stories for years. Some even claim it's the place where the devil himself comes to walk. This spot is a mysterious and frightening location in the woods of Bear Creek in North Carolina. The origin of the Devil's Tramping Ground is unclear, but one theory suggests that it may have been created by Native Americans as a gathering place for the tribes. Others believed it was formed by a meteorite impact or some other geological event. 
Despite its intriguing history, the area remains shrouded in mystery and uncertainty, with many visitors reporting unexplainable events. Some claim to have heard eerie voices or seen ghostly apparitions. Whether you believe in the supernatural or not, there's no denying that this spot has a haunting beauty and presence. This mysterious location is sure to leave you with more questions than answers. Would you ever dare to go there? Amid a group of young people enjoying a campfire deep in the woods, two girls were shocked when they saw something moving behind a tree. It took them a while to realize what they were seeing, a small alien creature. As terrifying as it seemed at first, these two girls couldn't resist their curiosity and decided to take a closer look at the creature. To their amazement, it seemed just as curious about them as they were about it. But what was this creature doing in the woods? Was it lost or trying to blend in with nature? As they tried to get closer with the light from their flashlights, the creature retreated behind the tree and disappeared. The possibilities of encounters with extraterrestrial beings and UFO sightings has long fascinated people, and this experience has only added fuel to that fire. The woods with its dark shadows and mysterious sounds is of course a perfect place for an alien to hide. If there's one place on Earth where dinosaurs could still be living, it's probably Papua New Guinea. Witnesses report seeing dinosaurs and we're not usually just talking about the fossils that have been found. Researchers claim to have spotted a dinosaur-like creature several times as it roamed in the rainforest. The name of this dinosaur is the Papuan Iguanodon. It is described as 10 feet or 3 meters in length, gray-colored with the head of a dog and the tail of a crocodile. According to some reports, it had legs as thick as trunks of coconut palms. The most recent sighting occurred in the rainforest near the village of Tinganavadu. Other sightings occurred in December 1999 and in March 2004, and in other areas including Lake Murray and Western Province. Could this really be a dinosaur species that miraculously survived the mass extinction? What do you think? Sasquatch is a legendary creature said to live in remote forests and mountains throughout the North America. It's said to be about 10 feet or 3 meters tall, covered in hair and rarely seen. Many people believe Sasquatch to be an ape-like creature, similar to other mythological creatures like the Yeti or Bigfoot. Over the years, there have been various reports in the mountains of Mission, British Columbia. In 2013, videos surfaced allegedly filming a Sasquatch walking through the area. A large dark figure moving through the trees is quite eerie to come across. But fortunately, this person was at a distance and was not close to the Sasquatch. Some people even claim to have had contact with the creature, particularly indigenous communities in North America, many of whom view it as a spiritual being with deep cultural significance. Do you believe that Bigfoot or Sasquatch really exists? Let me know in the comments. If you think ancient civilizations didn't decorate their backyards, you're wrong. These strange artifacts were found in Costa Rica, but the stone spheres are more mysterious than we first thought. In fact, these artifacts are said to have greater meaning, but no one knows their true purpose. You've probably heard of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, but this is the Tyrannobdella Rex, also known as the King of Leeches. It was first found in the Peruvian Amazon. The very first specimen was taken from a girl's nose in Peru's central Chanchamayo province in 2007. This giant leech can grow as long as almost 3 inches or 7 centimeters. It likes to look for just about every opening imaginable. And we're not just talking about noses and eyes. Can trees walk? You probably thought this was impossible, but apparently in the jungle they can. Meet Socratia exoriza, which is also called walking palm tree, because it really can walk. No, that doesn't mean you'll find the tree on the other side of the forest the next day, but it has an unusual root system with many small roots that look like legs. Guides in the area use this info to tell tourists different stories about the tree's abilities. Are you ready to step into a world of mystery? Look no further than the Dow Hill Forest in India, where ghosts roam free. Located at the foot of the Himalayas, the forest is known for its eerie silence, abandoned houses, and unexplained deaths. It's said that those who enter the forest never return, making it the ultimate destination for thrill-seekers and ghost hunters. The forest also houses several abandoned schools that are considered spooky, including the Dow Hill Girls' School and Victoria Boys' High School. 
The schools are shrouded in a dark history of unexplained deaths, with some students dying under mysterious circumstances. The most chilling part of the story is that some locals claim to have seen apparitions of headless boys and women dressed in white walking through the forest. Many people believe that the ghosts are angry at the abuse of the forest, which has been exposed to illegal logging and deforestation. It's believed that disturbing the natural balance of the forest has angered the ghosts, leading to an increase in ghost sightings. The Indian government has warned tourists and advised them to stay away from the abandoned schools and not to go too far into the forest. Imagine walking into a forest a few hundred years ago and seeing a head sticking out of the ground with a vengeful expression on its face. This was later identified as an Olmec head. The Olmec were a Mesoamerican people who lived in southern Mexico during the formative period. You could compare them somewhat to the Mayans and Aztecs. The largest of these heads, known as Head 1, was discovered in the 1940s at the site of La Venta in Mexico. Standing nearly 9 feet or 2.7 meters tall and weighing about 40,000 pounds or 18,000 kilograms, it's a technical marvel, especially considering it was made without the use of metal tools. One theory suggests that each head represents a specific Olmec ruler or god. These were placed at the base of a pyramid as a kind of gateway to the celestial realm. Despite this, the story of the Olmec heads remains a mystery. Each head displays unique facial features, and why they were found in certain places is also unclear. One thing is certain, and that is that they were left behind by the Olmec civilization. These massive stone sculptures have withstood the test of time, even as the civilization that created them faded thousands of years ago. One of the most fascinating aspects of these sculptures is that they were carved from a single piece of basalt rock believed to have been transported through the jungle. The Amazon is home to several of the world's largest snakes. Species include boa constrictors, vipers, green anacondas, and more. The answer to how big they can get is unknown. Giant snakes over 30 feet or 9 meters long and 550 pounds or 250 kilograms have been found. Their diet consists of jaguars, capybaras, deer, and wild pigs. But according to rumors, and because the Amazon has not been fully explored, even larger snakes are thought to be hiding there. One of the most reliable and infamous UFO sightings apparently took place not at the town of Roswell in New Mexico, but in Papua New Guinea more than 50 years ago. The account of the incident is by an Australian missionary, and a total of 37 associates are said to have said the same thing. Prior to the famous incident, but when I locals had experienced several reports of strange occurrences, all claiming to have spotted a UFO. On the day of the incident, there was a great deal of continuous UFO activity. Although the spaceship in question was described as alien and disc-shaped, the beings on board were said to look more like humans than anything else. At one point, Willie and Gil, the missionary, waved at them and they waved back. Finally, Willian went back inside when it looked like the UFO wasn't going anywhere. And then there was an explosion if William's detailed story is to be believed. And then the spaceship disappeared again. The Doll Island, also known as Isla de las Munecas, is a place that will give you chills. It's an island located on the Xochimilco canals near Mexico City, where trees are decorated with hundreds of decaying dolls. The island is home to a legend dating back to the 1950s, when a young girl drowned in the canal near the island. Supposedly, a man named Julian Santana Barrera hung the dolls to appease her spirit, as he was haunted by her. The dolls hanging everywhere on the island are said to be possessed. The island is truly frightening and an eerie place, unlike anywhere else in the world. Additionally, it's become a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors from all over the world. But beware, the dolls are said to be cursed, and touching them or even taking them off the island can invite misfortune into your life. Tourists who have visited the island claim to have been followed by the eyes of the dolls and heard whispers in their ears. We talked about dinosaur sightings before, but what about a pterosaur? It's believed that this creature could still be flying through the forest of Papua New Guinea. Locals call the animal the ropes, or duas, and it is said its appearance is creepy. For several years, several sightings of living pterosaurs are said to have been seen. Several reportings tell that the animal has a wingspan of nearly 30 feet, or 9 meters wide with bat-like wings. The living fossil is said to have a head crest and a dermal hump with razor-sharp teeth and claws. However, there is one specific place where it has been seen, off the mainland coast. The pterosaur is thought to emerge only at night. 
Not only that, but it's said to give off a bioluminescent glow. How big of a spider do you have to be to eat birds? Meet the Goliath Bird Eater, from which any arachnophobe will run away screaming. This is the largest arachnid in the world and is common in the Amazon. Although their diet does not consist entirely of birds, they're strong enough to go after them when necessary. The spider's hunting method includes rubbing their legs to launch harpoon-shaped barbed hairs into other people's eyes and skin. The Tarosian tribe is completely bizarre, and they live in the mountainous Pongala region of South Sulawesi in Indonesia. They have their own traditions and culture unlike any others. They live in unusual houses, shaped like a split bamboo roof. But most bizarrely, they live with corpses. Not literally, but once a year they have a tradition called manane. And then people have to clean the bodies of deceased loved ones and take care of them and put them in new clothes. The Amazon has always been a place of mythological rumors, but every once in a while, something turns out that actually exists. Indeed, the ghost dogs of the Amazon rainforest are real. They are the least studied dog species in the world, and they have gained ghost status because of how little they're seen. One of the longest sightings was from a scientist who saw one for 20 seconds before the dog fled again. Unlike other dogs, Amazonian ghost dogs are solitary creatures. Jenglot is a humanoid creature allegedly found in Indonesia. Although not many people believe in it, archaeologists found a small humanoid doll first reported on the creature in 1997. Indonesians believe the Jenglot has superpowers and that it was a supernatural being. In my opinion, it looks pretty scary, and I'll leave it up to you whether you believe in it or not. It's one thing to discover a piece of history, and quite another to find a completely untouched World War II battlefield. After years of getting to know the locals, an Australian man managed to find a sort of living museum. He found this battlefield near the famous Kokata Trail in the jungles of Papua New Guinea. A narrow path led him to the Aurora Creek area, and a four-day battle took place here in 1942. Imagine how creepy it must have been, knowing that you're standing in a place where hundreds of soldiers fought. Since news of the discovery of the battlefield was spread, not only have some questions of the history been answered, but the final resting place of the fallen soldiers has also become known. The lost battlefield of Yorra Creek is also considered one of the most important World War II discoveries in the 21st century. A woman was driving through a forest one day when she came across some travelers who appeared to be dumping trash. But what happened next was very strange. One of the men approached her car and told her she couldn't film. Then she jumped onto the car. Sometimes people dispose of their trash in places where it's harmful to the environment or poses health risks. However, these people seem to be dumping something illegal and perhaps even something much darker. Illegal dumping has also become a growing problem worldwide, with environmental agencies struggling to identify and prosecute perpetrators. It can pose a danger to public health and safety. Why the men didn't want the woman to film is a mystery. Who knows if they had committed a crime? We'll unfortunately never know. However, we do know that the woman was fortunately able to leave safely. Lord Hanuman is a Hindu god, and his giant footprints are thought to have been found in Andhra Pradesh, Thailand, Sri Lanka, and Malaysia. This would possibly be the greatest evidence that giants once lived on Earth. Recently, the lost city of giants was also found in the jungle of Ecuador. A 250-foot or 66-meter high structure made of hundreds of two-ton blocks was discovered there, and it's thought that more remains of the giant city can be found. The Nazis were everywhere during World War II, but researchers were very surprised when they found their base in the Argentina jungle. It's thought that Hitler and his wife, Eva, escaped through a secret tunnel and ended up somewhere in Argentina. Archaeologists also recently found buildings near this base and thought that Hitler may have been hiding here. However, there's no evidence for this claim, so many people think it's just a myth. If you visit Papua New Guinea, you have to be extra careful where you go hiking. A while ago, scientists discovered that a shortcut to mining gold is to poison entire forests. In fact, gold seekers have found a trick to obtain gold easily. They do this by mixing gold with lots of mercury. Mercury is cheap if you mix it with water and raw ore. It binds with gold. When you heat it, the mercury burns and shiny gold takes its place. There are hundreds of illegal gold mines operating this way exposing hundreds of miners and areas to mercury poisoning. Forests and wildlife also suffer. 
The danger is escalating as scientists have found traces of mercury poisoning in numerous places. The tree in the forest also acts as mercury sponges, and even the leaves are said to be covered with this toxic material. A recent discovery of 20,000-year-old UFO wreckage in British Columbia, Canada has left archaeologists frightened. They discovered the remains of an extraterrestrial vehicle, dating back to the last ice age. According to the article, it suggested that a UFO had crashed on Earth. The strange thing about this story is that other sources claim that it didn't happen in Canada, but in Russia. High-ranking KGB officials are said to have found the UFO and covered up the story. However, it's clear that the wreckage contains metals that are not of this world. Experts therefore conclude that it may indeed be of extraterrestrial origin. Interestingly, there is speculation that the UFO may be connected to ancient legends of extraterrestrial contacts. In Native American folklore, there are stories of star people, beings with advanced technological abilities who left behind mysterious artifacts. Could this discovery be evidence that these stories were always true? Unfortunately, the discovery of the 20,000-year-old UFO wreckage raises more questions than answers. The kandaroo is a parasitic fish that swims around in the Amazon. Everyone should watch out for this fish, because it's scarier than a school of 20 piranhas. The kandaroo is known to invade all sorts of holes in your body. Most of their victims are men swimming in the water in their swim trunks. The red-bellied piranhas are considered the most fearsome of their kind, and they can be found all over the Amazon. So you don't want to jump into the water because you're guaranteed to encounter them. You can recognize them by their red bellies, whose color extends from their bottom to their chin and cheeks. They can also be quite dangerous and can reach 12 inches or 30 centimeters in length, weighing almost 4.5 pounds or 2 kilograms. Deep in the dense forests of Honduras lies a mythical city that has captured the imagination of treasure hunters for centuries. La Ciudad Blanca, or the White City. There are countless legends about this mysterious city, which is said to be covered in gold and guarded by ferocious beasts. Some even claim to have found the city and brought back tales of ancient ruins and treasures. La Ciudad Blanca was first discovered by Spanish conquistadors in the early 16th century, but the myth of the city has persisted throughout the ages. While many have searched for the lost city, few have been successful in their quest, encountering dangers and obstacles along the way. Over the years, many people have searched for La Ciudad Blanca, but few have managed to find the city. The region is extremely remote and difficult to access, and the dense forests and rugged terrain make it a challenging place to explore. The Amazon is full of secrets, and one of them is the mysterious creature called the Mapinguari. The creature is extremely hairy and has a strong smell that it leaves behind. In addition, it's said to live in caves, regularly leaving trails of broken trees and branches. The Mapingari has the body of a bear and the face of a monkey. Some people think that it's not as mythical as most think. It's thought that it may be a giant ground sloth that would have gone extinct 8,500 years ago. Somewhere deep in the Amazon rainforest, amidst lush greenery and towering trees, lies a natural wonder, the walking palm tree, also known as Cretea exorziza. Unlike most trees, the walking palm has a unique root system that allows it to move across the forest floor, as if slowly crawling towards the sun. However, the roots of the walking palm do not function like those of ordinary trees. They form small limbs that extend from the trunk, allowing the tree to move slowly across the forest floor. But what makes it even stranger are the legends associated with its movements. According to local Amazon folklore, walking palm trees are possessed by evil spirits, enabling them to uproot themselves and travel long distances in search of prey. These beliefs have been passed down through generations, and it remains unclear whether the natural movement of the walking palm tree has led to these legends. The zombie fungus is a fungus that mainly infects ants. There's an incubation period, during which the ants behave normally before the transformation occurs. The infection forces the ant to leave its nest, burrow into a more humid environment, and wait until it's starved. Meanwhile, the fungus eats it from the inside before it moves to another ant. Forests have always been places of mysterious and eerie sensations. With their vast expanse and dense vegetation, forests are perfect habitats for various animals, including wolves and bears. 
Occasionally, you may come across a sign in the woods warning you that dangerous animals are roaming around and that you should be careful. But the next sign found in a forest gives a very strange warning. We see a man jumping over hands, almost as if he's escaping from zombie hands. It's unclear where exactly this sign was found, but what could this creepy sign possibly mean? One thing's for sure, after seeing that warning sign, I definitely wouldn't be walking in that forest anymore. Many people love hiking in the woods, but some say they now think twice before entering a secluded forest. What do you think this sign means? Let me know in the comments. If you thought stick insects were already masters of their art, you haven't been to the Amazon to see what the leaf mimic Katie did does. Not only do they perfectly mimic leaves, but they even have holes in their bodies that look like torn leaves that are actually just spots of translucent membranes. This led scientists to believe that they had discovered different species while studying the same one. If you ask anyone who's visited Papua New Guinea what the most dangerous snake is, they will say the Papuan black snake. It's unmistakable with its 6.5 feet or 2 meter long matte black skin and grayish belly. The Papuan black snake is a fearsome animal if you disturb it. By nature, it's a shy creature and will try to avoid human contact at all costs, but threaten it, even accidentally, then it's game over. In the blink of an eye, it attacks and delivers a bite with a neurotoxic and hemotoxic venom. Papua New Guinea is also home to an alarming number of venomous snakes. In fact, there are at least 80 venomous snakes, including the New Guinea brown snake and the Papuan taipan. The Mayans are one of the most interesting ancient civilizations that have ever lived in our world. And recently, the earliest evidence of the Mayan calendar was found. The find was hidden in an ancient temple and two fragments were found with seven deer on them. According to the researchers, the fragments date back from between 300 and 200 BC, and this means that the calendar was also used by many other cultures for at least 2,300 years. A trail camera in the forest in Alabama captured an image of a long, hairy feet with wolf-like claws. The exact location of where this was seen is unclear, but it's caused much speculation about what this beast could be. According to the story, the camera was immediately destroyed, which only added to the creepy atmosphere of the incident. The owner of the property also reported losing five pet goats in the past two weeks. It has people wondering what creature could be responsible for such brutality and violence. Another similar incident is even more disturbing and may be related to the creature with the wolf-like claws. A person captured on camera what he claims to be a lizard man, somewhere in Bishopville, South Carolina. This creature has remained elusive, but the thought of it alone is chilling. He also claims that this large creature was covered in spines and had been watching him for a while. You could almost think this was straight out of a horror movie, but according to the description of the video, this happened in real life. It's no secret that the Amazon is full of giant snakes. However, many people believe that a giant monster still lurks here. An explorer, Percy H. Fawcett, claimed to have encountered a giant anaconda in the 19th century that was about 40 feet or 12 meters long, and at least 12 inches or 30 centimeters in diameter. Even though there's no hard evidence for it, people still tend to believe him. The assassin bug is an insect that loves to suck other insects' bodies and spray venom at them. They're also known as kissing bugs, as they prefer to bite people's lips in their sleep. Their bite not only leaves you with an ugly wound, but they can also transmit the cruel Chagas disease. But they can also transmit the cruel Chagas disease. Mount Liko is carefully hidden in the rainforest in Mozambique's Altomaloke district. It's completely protected by a steep rock circle and has barely been explored. Not many people can visit this beautiful area because it's not that easy to get to. Interestingly, locals knew about this hidden place, but it was a secret from others for a long time. Only six years ago, the mountain became known to the public. The Valley of the Square Trees is located in the Anton Valley in Panama and was found on a dormant volcano, which is the second largest in the world. If you're thinking about settling there, it's probably not the best choice. Yet, people have lived there for centuries, but they are constantly at risk from the possible threat of an eruption. What makes this area unique are the square trees. Even the rings of the trees are square. How bizarre, right? 
CWD, better known as zombie deer disease, is a disturbing condition affecting deer populations in the Midwest of the United States. First discovered in Colorado in 1967, the disease has rapidly spread to 23 other states. But recently, it's also been observed in the Canadian provinces of Alberta and Saskatchewan, and even in Norway, Finland, and South Korea. The disease is caused by an abnormal protein called a prion that attacks the brains and nervous systems of the deer, leading to, among other things, lack of coordination. One of the most notable features is how it affects behavior of the deer, causing them to behave in a way that can be described as zombie-like. Infected deer also exhibit symptoms such as lack of fear of humans or predators, and a repetitive pattern of walking in circles. The disease is fatal, with no known cure or preventative measures currently available. Its spread is therefore concerning, as deer are a crucial part of the food chain and play an important role in the health of the forest. Moreover, it would be quite creepy if you encounter a zombie deer in the woods, don't you think? The zombie frog, as its name suggests, is not a real zombie. It owes the name to the scientists who found it in the mud and also because of its distinctive call. However, it's not the only frog in the Amazon, as it's full of frog species. There is another one, called the horned frog, that does live up to its name. It's quite large, and they have devilish features. In addition, they eat anything smaller or equal to their own bodies. Their nickname is the Pac-Man frog, because they swallow their prey whole. Bats are scary enough, but vampire bats are extremely scary, hence the name Vampire Bat. During the day, they sleep in colonies of a hundred to a thousand bats in pitch dark caves. When night falls, they emerge. The creepiest part is that vampire bats are also known to drink the blood of humans. You probably know Bigfoot, but have you ever heard of the Maricoxi? The Maricoxi is the South American Bigfoot that is said to have walked in the forest and is very aggressive and dangerous. People who allegedly met him revealed that he can't speak, but the creature groaned and growled. They also described him as an ape-like creature that walks on two legs. If you wander through the rainforest long enough, at some point you'll come across an insect that looks very strange. Peanut head, as the insect's called, is only 3.5 inches or 90 millimeters in length and has large false eyes on its wings to scare off enemies. Although it's not a fly, peanut head insects belong to a family of lanternflies that also have the same elongated structures from the top of their heads. Which is scarier, the possibility that witches live in Papua New Guinea, or the so-called witch hunts going on there? As it happens, in many areas of Papua New Guinea, there's still a belief that witches and black magic are real. If something goes wrong in their lives, they're quick to blame magic, and usually women and children who practice it. Some men are accused of sorcery, but they are almost always widows. It only takes one villager pointing an accusing finger at you, and you are the subject of a witch hunt. Each year, there's an estimated 200 of these witch hunts, but the number could be much higher. Interviews with local activists have cited numbers up to 50,000, describing how many people have been driven from their homes and villages because of the accusations. It's no longer just bears and mountain lions to watch out for while hiking in the woods. A shocking discovery was made on a hiking trail in Utah, where deadly nail booby traps were found scattered throughout the forest. These frightening traps are designed to seriously injure anyone who accidentally comes across them. This has led to fear and uncertainty within the hiking community. The authorities have yet to determine who placed these traps or what their motives could be. Meanwhile, hikers are advised to remain vigilant and avoid the trail. As we continue to explore and discover the natural world around us, it's important to be aware of the potential risks that come with encountering unfamiliar territory. Whether it's exploring a new hiking trail or camping in the woods, it's important to stay on guard. It's not every day you discover a new species of jellyfish of this size that looks like it could grab you with a single sting. But that's exactly what happened to diver Dorian Borchards in Papua New Guinea. On a vacation, Dorian turned on his camera just in time to see the unusual, almost transparent jellyfish swimming beside him. This was a groundbreaking revelation and a unique sighting. This jellyfish has only shown itself once to the world before, more than a quarter century ago. In May 1997, it was seen off the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of far north Queensland. As beautiful as the jellyfish looks, this new species of jellyfish is probably very toxic and also a fast swimmer. 
It's no wonder ancient civilizations looked at creatures like the Harp Eagle and immediately jumped to legends. In fact, the Harpy Eagle is named after the Harpies of Greek mythology. The Harpy Eagle is one of the largest birds in the world and is at the top of the food chain. They have claws as long and sharp as those of a grizzly bear, and when they take to the skies, their wings are 6.5 feet or 2 meters wide. The Amazon and Orinoco basins are home to a population of the Mata Mata turtle. You can distinguish it by its shell and by the cones that are sticking out of it. The cones come from ridges that span the turtle's shell from front to back. Study its features and you will not be disappointed. Their necks are covered with warts and even more ridges, and their snout, which is tubular, is used as a snorkel. Chimpanzees are considered the closest relatives of humans. Our DNA is 99% the same as theirs. However, in 2003, a new species was discovered and named the Billy Apes. This species was a very large and aggressive ape that howled at the moon, ate large predators, and nested like gorillas. They found this species in the village of Billy in Democratic Republic of Congo, hence the name Billy Apes. You won't believe it, but a 15-year-old teenager, William Goddery, has found a lost Mayan city in the jungle of Mexico. The location is believed to be the Mayan ruins, and a complex of pyramids was even found. The boy had always been interested in the Maya, but how did he find the city, you'll ask? Well, thanks to Google Earth. Maybe you should also go to Google Earth and try to find something. Let me know if you find anything in the comments. The Amazon rainforest is huge, and it's inhabited by dangerous animals, but recently an interesting find was made in a remote part of the jungle. Tens of thousands of Ice Age paintings were found on a rock face that tell us more about the people and animals of 12,500 years ago. The archaeologists called it the Sistine Chapel of the Ancients. The paintings look incredible, as you can see various ancient animals, such as extinct camelids as well as giant sloths and Ice Age horses. The leaf-tailed gecko is a lizard that has mesmerizing mottled patterns with giant eyes. They come in different colors, including gold, silver, or brown. But its superpower is that it can blend flawlessly into its surroundings. Not only his colors, but he can also blend in with the shapes and vegetation of the Amazon. So if you're walking through the rainforest, you probably wouldn't notice them right away. Potu birds are often compared to Muppets, and they could reflect the light of flashlights. Their creepy slits in their eyelids allow them to close their bright eyes. However, this could expose them in daylight, and these slits allow them to sense movement when closed. They are also thought to have inhabited our Earth for a long time, with the earliest fossils dating from 56 to 36 million years ago. Imagine walking in the Amazon and you see an animal among the trees, and suddenly it starts staring at you with a bright red face. The bald uakari is a South American primate species, it's known for its bright red face and bald head. You only find them in the Amazon basin, where they move quickly between trees without using their arms and legs. Like other monkeys, they live in groups of up to 100. Researchers believe the brighter their face is, the more attractive they are to potential mates. The Amazon rings is an incredible find that was made that is thought to have been there before the Amazon rainforest existed. The research showed a series of trenches, but no one understands how they were used. It's thought that they were used for defense or for religious reasons. Many people question whether these prehistoric people changed their landscape in the Amazon before Europeans arrived. Deep in the Ozark Mountains of the United States lies the remains of an abandoned hospital with a tragic history. Welch Spring Hospital, also known as Missouri State Sanatorium, was established in the early 1900s as a treatment center for patients suffering with tuberculosis. The hospital operated for almost 40 years before being closed in the 1940s due to the discovery of an antibiotic cure for the infectious disease. Today, the hospital's ruins stand as a testament to the past and the human suffering that occurred within its walls. The moss-covered stones and rusted metal equipment serve as a reminder of the patients who lived and died there. The hospital was infamous for its experimental procedures, which often did more harm than good. Visitors brave enough to explore the ruins have reported feeling a supernatural presence. Some claim to have even seen ghostly apparitions or heard unexplained noises. 
Many believe that the spirits of the patients who died in the hospital linger and seek closure for the pain and suffering that they endured. Have you ever explored a forest and found anything? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.